Hello and welcome back to my Ultima 4 playthrough, Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. And we are right where we left off. We're here by the Moon Gate. We just died and came back to life. And um, because of a pirate ship, we know where there's other ships. I think there's ships just down here. But first, we're going to spend another 100 gold pieces and get our food up because we're down to 193 already. So I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for the moon gate, and then we're going to go from here to Minoc, which is the second destination. And uh, then we'll do Minoc Scarbray, where it's going to go out, go buy more food, just like we did last time. So. All right. Boy, this guy's going to be happy. Nope. Can't board anything. Enter. It's going to be happy to see us, man. He's like, man, you guys are just here, and you need more food? happy to take my money yes i want five packs it gets us up to 315 nope goodbye hopefully we won't have to do this again <laughs> in the near future all right moon gate back to lord british's castle area there is another ship that's near there i believe Okay, so here we are. Let's, uh, we are at G&G. &G. Let's take a quick peek at our notes and let's look at our map coordinates. And we've got an extra ship at G and F. G and N, G and G K. We are at what? G, G, G and G, B. GA, it's I think that's back in Lord Brit by Lord British's castle, even though I don't say that. Even though I don't say that. All right, I think because we saw a ship when we were sailing, and I think it is just yeah down here. And you know, since we're down a ship. All right. I knew we were going to fight these guys from the ship, but I, I was actually interested to see how it was going to go because now we're all ranged. So the ship is no longer quite as confining as it was, and we got to get around the masts. Um, but beyond that, we've got... I'm just going to have you stay there. We, there's a lot of attacks we can do without having to deal with the geometry of the ship quite so much. And, and, and actually, in this case, since I don't really want these guys to get close, the geometry of the ship and the shore works to our benefit. And gone. And God knows we need the gold. Okay, so... Let's try again. Oh, dear God. I don't really want to fight everything. I mean, well, fighting in our boat doesn't help us from a gold perspective. It's not helpful. Uh, not get chest. Locate. So we're at G and J. If I take a quick peek at the map again, Shrine of Honesty is like E and N, E and N, I'm going to say, E and N. So we've got a ways to go. We're probably going to run in that boat again. And obviously, if we do, you know, I want to engage as quickly as possible. There were too many shots there where I was still trying to get myself situated for a for a broadside it wasn't working it just wasn't working and so he was a couple shots into me already all right where am i at here f that's the tip of verity isle i'm pretty darn sure 
Nixies. All right, we'll take care of these guys. These guys should be really quick work, especially in our new ranged format. I should have moved him over. I notice several of them are already right by the edges for easy fleeage. Okay, that's two down already. And Iola misses. I am shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Shocked, I say. Uh, all right, you can't really. You know, there's only so many people that are, we can line up right now. All right, maybe I'll go up there. That guy's fleeing. Come on, Iolo. There we go. Yeah, the masts are kind of a pain in the butt. But we can't do anything about that, you know. The ship is the ship. All right, and then there was one. Uh, are you fleeing, sir? Well, Julia. This is all on you now. Don't let this guy flee. It's a matter of honor. Now, he, now he's fleeing. He seemed to be fleeing before, but now he's officially fleeing. There we go. All right, where are we? E and N. We are right where we want to be. Um, all right. So, I don't want to be right up against the shore. So that's the bottom of Dagger Isle. It wasn't on Dagger Isle, I don't believe. I'm ignoring you, Mr. Orc. I thought it was on one of these little islands that were nearby. I could be wrong. I mean, this is basically where I was going last time and I came around here. And we were coming down and around. That's when we found that ship. So I guess we'll see if it stuck around. Ooh, wisps. Ooh. Oh, f okay. Uh, well, let's see. I'll use the horn. And we got a Balrog, or Balron, which is not something that's filling me with happiness. Well, somebody needs to be lined up here on this guy. Let's... Focus on the Balron. Maybe we can take him out before he starts casting his evil spells. I'm not so sure about that. Okay, he did he did cast his evil spell, but he didn't uh, cause that much. He's lightly wounded. Still lightly wounded. Guy's got a lot of hit points. Dear God, Iolo. If you're not better after the crossbow, man, then maybe it's just time for you to retire. Now he's heavily wounded. And Iolo misses. I'd say I'm surprised. But I'm not. All right, Julia, I know I can count on you. Come on, Iolo. Ugh. All right, we can't. Oh, he moved. He moved. How dare he move? Well, let's work on this on this demon. All right, that's we're down there. And we really can't do anything. We're not lined up with anybody right now. We got our one well, who's sleeping. Dupree is sleeping. So until he wakes up or this guy moves like that. Ooh, ooh, look at him coming on the boat. 
Heavily wounded. I probably should have done... Uh, I probably should have done a fireball in his face. <laughs> yep. I should have. All right. So... All right, I get a, I get another chance. Now he's fleeing. There we go. He's gone. All right, Mr. Demon. Are you just going to sit there? Cause... All right, I'm moving over. And the Dupree's moving over. And then I got to move Iolo. Well, crap. <laughs> Trying to avoid this guy's attacks. And um, how are we doing on health? Everybody's doing okay. Come on, dude. Move. There we go. Golly. He's lightly wounded. Heavily wounded. Still heavily wounded. Beautiful. All right. I was heading south. Hopefully if that ship is still hanging around here, we can just engage quickly. Anytime this wind wants to change, it would be all right by me. Oh, there it is. There it is. It looks like we're going to have to fight. Actually, you know what? We need the gold. <laughs> Come on. I want to get off. Okay, good. I want to. I want to get off the rocks. I. Ha I hate. I hate that. That fighting environment. Uh, I meant to have him. He was fleeing already. Wow. Surprised I am. All right. How do one get? Oh, that's right. I forgot these guys could teleport. Oh, wow. All right. That's nice. Nice one hit. Come on, dude. All right. Is there not a, not a chest for those guys? There, most everybody has a target. Gotta bring Julie in. <sighs> the other direction would have been more helpful. Okay, well, Julia's got lined up on a guy now, so I guess that's not all bad. Or a guy lined up on Julia. All right. I moved Dupree out. Good job, Iolo. Finally hit somebody. And I'm not lined up on anybody, so I'm gonna join this line. And then it's just a tacky tacky. Everybody's got a got a foe. I might have to bring Julia back over. That guy's heavily wounded. That guy's fleeing. Lightly wounded. Oh. Whoops, 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 whoops. My bad. Uh my bad. I was I was trying to see who's lined up with what. And uh holding the key down. And that made it go kaflooey. That guy's fleeing. That guy was missed. All right, Iolo. Good job. Keep up the pressure. I thought this guy in front of me was fleeing. <laughs> Once again, the poor choice of fleeing toward us. All right. All 
left. All right, get some uh, more heads. Oh, somebody left. Later, Gator. Go tell all your Etten friends. Don't mess with the gizmo party, man. They will chew you up. Yeah, I love this combat. <laughs> I love this form of combat. Uh, hey, we didn't get any gold from the wisps. That's kind of a pain about only 15 gold from the from the orcs, huh? <laughs> Two of them. Wow. All right, we're going to get up. Well, actually, we don't really need to to get up for most of these guys cuz we we're ranged now. I got to remember that. I'm just going to keep you there. So this smaller group is for that guy whenever he decides he wants to come by. All right, let's start moving up. I'm not sure if he's gonna... I'm just gonna move a couple of our guys up. Move him up there. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, okay, so he's coming down that way. Uh, there's going to be a limit to how many people we can bring to bear. Pardon the pun. I mean, I guess they're technically not bears, but <laughs> they feel bear-like to me. All right, so we've got him covered. He shouldn't be able to get away from us, assuming we can actually hit him. That might be a big assumption. Lightly wounded. Missed. Come on, guys. Hit him. We're never get, we're never gonna kill him if we don't hit him. Jeez, wow, forty two gold, not too bad, not too bad. All right, so here we are at the Shrine of Humility, and um, let's uh, let's go do a little meditating. Now let's take a peek first and get in our brain the rune not the rune the mantra of honesty om um, a h m is the rune om um. all right so we're going to enter honesty for one cycle begin the meditation Thy thoughts are pure, thou art granted a vision, take not the gold of others found in towns and castles, for yours it is not. I already knew that. Okay, so let's take a quick, I want to put that in my notes just so I have it. So we are going to go to back to navigation and map coordinates, and we're going to say give me a row below, we're going to say... Hopefully we will never have to come here again, but um, you never know. And OJ, okay, very, very good. All right, so there we are. We've got round one done, and uh, I think we are going to call that an episode so we will come back next time we will finish this up and get full avatar hood that is the plan that is the plan so i do uh hope you enjoyed this episode i do hope you come back for the next one and until then 
be seeing you.